This is uh, actually not John's birthday because his birthday is tomorrow. tomorrow. So uh, we are here. Oh. We, we are here to uh, uh, celebrate his achievement in political science a day before his uh, birthday. His contribution overall is to the discipline, not only in this country but uh, internationally. So. I think um, he had ideas and visions which have really uh, resulted in a number of, of generations, basically, following his uh, examples. Where, where to start, almost. Uh, but I'm, I'm so pleased you've been able to come, John, uh, because you and Ian together were the kind of two key formative influences on me throughout my career, and so I'm really appreciative that I can come and say thank you. He set very high expectations, he demanded very high performance and for me one of the great things that he was able to do was he knew when to lose his temper or at least, <laughs> or at least to appear to lose his temper. What I experienced was fantastic widening of horizons uh, through my involvement in the summer school and an incredible improvement in my network of contacts around Europe. The Essex Summer School, which started in uh, 1968, uh, was an example of Jean's entrepreneurial spirit, which uh, Jean managed to collar a UNESCO grant for biennial summer schools in Europe. I didn't know that I was able to produce large amounts of money. That I, mm -hmm. I didn't know at all. I mean, it's never been no. my belief that I could. Uh, I possibly try. I am very happy to uh, to be with uh, many uh, European scholars. Also, one thing that struck me, Jean was absolutely keen on learning languages, mm -hmm. and he went to the Dutch classes. Actually, Jean once in a while wrote me a postcard in Dutch, which was almost impossible to read, but that I knew at least it was Jean who wrote a postcard to me in Dutch. Well, I, I've heard from Jean and all the colleagues at the Institute, ECPR helps a lot with the summer schools and the training that they organize for the PhD students. So in that sense, yes, it was, must have been a lot of benefit to our political science students in, in Florence as well. And I think in terms of teaching, I would say that was one must never prevent a student from producing some kind of idea about a problem. Yes, he was the founding father of Essex. Yes, he was the founding father of the ECPR, one of them. Yes, he has great merits as a professor in the EUI and also in Siena. But most of all, his life was devoted to cooperative politics. And I know that John always asked for more research in the field of political psychology. He even forced Rudy Underbeck to write an article on this. <laughs> uh, and Rudy said, if I would have known what would have come, I would have never done this. But John just pushed me to do this. And, and, uh, and, and, and you know, you were always asking for more research in political psychology in order to understand why politicians behave the way they behave. A personal stimulus, but also uh, opportunities, important opportunities for cooperation, for building networks of scholars to do collective research. Uh, so I think these are the main uh, uh, elements that I've got from the ECPR. And there's one last thing, uh, Jean, that I, I want to tell you and to show you. Um, on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of ECBR, we will be building kind of walk of fame. First executive director of ECBR will be the first star on our world wall of fame. Uh, thank you very much, all of you. Thank you.